Hey everyone, good morning from St. Petersburg, Russia. Uh, today is day three, and I really need to stay on top of these videos. Uh, it's actually the morning of day four now, but I'm recording for day three because every moment is just so filled um, with things to do that there's just not time to tape, so I need to, uh, to work on that. So anyway, I'll go back with yesterday. Yesterday in the daytime, I finished making our our schedule of events for the group that I have here. So the itinerary is completed and uh, let's see, what was the first thing that that I did? I actually, um, I went out shopping yesterday, late morning, early afternoon, and I hit up some local stores that, that I like around here and I got some, some uh, souvenir-y kind of things, uh, some stuff for my house back at home. I'll show you those later. And let's see, the kids had class and what I had planned for the day was a submarine tour. Uh, C-189 submarine, which sounded cool. It's actually something that I have, um, that I've not been to here yet, so I was looking forward to that. So we came back, collected the group, and headed downtown. So we walked a lot downtown and then we went to the submarine. And then when we, uh, found where this submarine was, uh, there were also two cruise ships that were there, and they said that we couldn't see the submarine because two cruise ships were there, and this is a very, very Russian situation. When there's something that is supposedly open on these days, you show up at the specified time and date, and then they tell you that it's not possible because of something else. So, in this case, it was not possible to see the submarine because there were two cruise ships there. And when we asked, okay, fine, how do you know when there are not two cruise ships there so that we can come back? How do you not know? Well, you have to come and check. And it is quite a hike uh, to get to this place. So that's not going to be happening unless there's a day that we like have absolutely nothing to do just to check that there are not two cruise ships there to see if we can get on the tour. So that was that, but not very far from that is the Icebreaker Crossing. So we took the group to see the Icebreaker, which was uh, the longest serving Russian icebreaker. It was really cool. I'll stick some pictures in here and show you how that looks. So I had been there before, and my husband, who's lived in the city his whole life, had not been there. So that was cool. I'm glad he got to see something new. It was new for the whole group, and um, I enjoyed seeing it again, so it's all good. Uh, so here are some pictures from the crossing. That was my, se my sexy husband here with me at the helm of the ship as we pose. And here I am showing off some of the communication technology that's on the ship. Modeling off the foams. And here I am posing at the helm. And the next one is a shot of the outside of the ship still with its USSR badge on the front and a picture of me on the deck with the main bell. Icebreaker is actually a, um, it's a museum now but it's still um, it's still an active military ship so it is I believe 94 or 95 years old and it's, it's a really cool thing to say. Uh, let's see so that was that and then we walked around the city more we went into a gorgeous Russian Orthodox Church took some photos there that are restoring it to um, its original beauty. I also have photos of the girls that are restoring beauty paintings inside of the church. So here you can see it from the outside and then the next shot is of one of the girls doing part of the painstaking uh, work restoring. After the icebreaker and the church that you just saw photos of, uh, we went to one of our favorite restaurants in the city which is Krokodil. So uh, Krokodil used to have two locations, and the main location, which was really, really nice, was closed down a few years ago. I don't know why. And their secondary location, which is more of a bar, uh, is still open. But they do have their full restaurant menu and the same chef that they had in the original restaurant. So, I don't know. Go figure. So, oh, ordered a lot of my, well, most all of my favorite dishes, and we ate so much that I was, like, ready to explode. But it was all very, very delicious. And uh, restaurants in Russia take longer than restaurants in the States. So it's you can plan on being there a few hours when you're in a restaurant. And after that, uh, 
we walked back to the metro and uh, basically came home because at this point it was already, I don't know, like 10.30-ish p.m. And I will show you a picture of the white nights that I took as I was walking back home. Um, after the metro, I went to the grocery store that's by our house, and apparently this grocery store, okay, that's what it's called, okay, um, there's a picture of it, it was the place to be on a Friday night. It was like everyone was there, everyone was dressed beautifully, it was like the new place to be is the grocery store on a Friday night at like 10.30 p.m. So, um... The lines were like miles and miles long, so I only needed to go for one thing, but I'm like, hey, if I'm going to wait in this line, I'm going to pick up some stuff. So I did just that, and then I waited in line for like hours, and then, not really hours, because I was home by 11.30, and you can see a picture of how the white nights look at 11.30 p.m. in early June, so here's a picture of white nights. This is a view from one of my windows that I just showed you. And it's just wonderful. Then we, uh, my husband and I just stayed up for a while after our romantic walk and dinner. And uh, that is, that's pretty much it for day three. So it included shopping and the tours and time downtown. All right, so guys, I uh, thank you for watching day three and reliving my day three. Oh, something else that I forgot. As we were walking downtown after the tour of the icebreaker right on um, on the embankment of the Lieutenant Schmidt, uh, there was a girl that wanted to dive off of the embankment into the Neva River and she was like, I'll jump for a hundred rubles, which is like three bucks. So we're like, if you want to jump, jump. So we gave her money and we taped it. So uh, she said that she already had done it several times before. So we were like, what if you kill yourself? And she's like, no, I already did it. She, I mean, she was already all wet, so whatever. So anyway, uh, coming up soon at some point, I'm going to put this girl's video. Her name is Lisa. So um, hi to Lisa, and you'll see yourself <laughs> jumping off of the embankment and one of these upcoming videos. All right, so that's it for the day. Thanks guys for watching. All right, have a great one. Bye-bye.